Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market preparation video for September 28th, 2021. Well, yesterday, doggone it, we had that nice little bullishness in the morning, and then we ended up just kind of fading into the afternoon, leaving behind some question marks in uh, the market and or in these index charts and wondering what comes next. So how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. And my goodness, yesterday left us with a little bit of, uh, well, if you guys remember the old Arsenio Hall show, Things that make you say, hmm, we had a little bit of that going on yesterday after we rallied up pretty strongly, particularly in the Dow. We, they were really pushing in the Dow. And um, let's take a look at the ending result here in this chart. First off, let's take a look. Let's draw some trend lines on here. As you can see, there was our um, upside trend. Now we are faced with a downside trend um, in the chart. And we have some significant price resistance in this chart that is running us into just a little bit of trouble. And we mentioned this yesterday as that possibility that we get these um, levels that kind of all come together. And that's where we could see those bears come back into play. And that's kind of what happened yesterday. We had this really strong bullish move in the Dow early in the morning. But then all day long it began to fade and we ended up leaving behind a shooting star pattern this is a bearish candle pattern right here a bearish candle pattern and we now appear to be getting a follow-through to the downside and not only a follow-through but a gap down so we gapped up to this candle and gap away to um, a follow-through candle that could be bearish and that leaves behind um, a pretty sizable shooting star pattern um, failing at the Dow's 50-day moving average. So a little bit of concern here um, in the market. Now we have rallied off of overnight lows, as you can see here. Our overnight lows, we have pushed back up in this here in the pre-market, trying to get a little bit of a pump up. So a little bit of concern raised here in the market. Now we do have some price support right in this area. If we hold that price support today, we may be just fine because no um, big strong rally like this, a pullback into a price support level could certainly be bullish. We could break that downtrend if that were to be the case, if we can hold in that area. However, I do have a concern if we were to fail below this level, um, that could certainly trigger um, those bears or embolden those bears to push a little bit harder. We could see um, them push hard enough to create a double bottom. We could push all the way back down into here, or we could create that little higher low in here someplace to try and lift us back up. So watch that closely. If this area fails, that could be a bit of a problem here for the market. And the fact that we're below the 50 day moving average and our shorter term moving averages have pushed down through that area also raises that concern level. Let's take a look at our SPY. Now SPY had a better day. It was just really indecisive, as you can see, a very indecisive day. Um, just a lot of um, just nothing, just chopping, going sideways. And as you can see, that happened to be right at the price resistance of the downtrend and right at some price resistance in the chart. And we failed just exactly where we would expect maybe those bears to uh, re-engage, pushing us back down. Now, we have some price support in this chart, but unfortunately it's quite a little bit lower. As you can see, we've got this price level down in here and we're getting a major push here in the pre-market on the SPY because tech is selling off. And as you can see, pushing down pretty hard. So 
The question is going to be, can we hold this support today? Will we hold in this area? Or could we see that area give up and actually push us back down into that potential double bottom pattern here in the chart? What we don't want to see, obviously, is we don't want to see this failure here take us to a new low because that would signal some serious problems here in the market. Let's take a look here at our moving averages and as you can see yesterday's little indecisive candle ended up pushing us right back down below that 50-day moving average and notice our shorter term average of the 34 EMA crossing down through the 50 and our 20 is diving toward that area as well so this failure this morning if this continues to hold throughout the day could be a major problem here for the SPY and really shake the confidence of those buy the dip buyers that rush in here let's take a look at our QQQ now our QQQ is getting impacted this morning pretty hard um, we've got the tech shares selling off hard over in Europe and that is kind of spreading here and one of the reasons that is the case is we're seeing bonds sharply rise and remember tech stocks are probably the most sensitive to inflationary pressures and bond pressures and as you can see really getting hit hard this morning and I've warned on this um, boy be careful watch out what could occur if big tech starts to sell and we could be running into a bit of a problem here if that continues today and let's notice that we are not only breaking down but we're breaking the um, uh, Monday low here um, um, that um, are, are close I should say on the open we're gapping down below that so um, that possibility that we could actually come down here and test this low seems uh, very very possible here today and as you can see we've got some price support in this area we're following this potential downtrend and the real concern here would be if the SPY were to break or the QQQ were to break that low creating a new low in the market and that would raise those serious concerns here on the market stability again this could be a failure at the 50-day moving average and notice that our 8 exponential is crossing down this morning. Our 34 exponential is on its way there as well. So could be some issues here this morning and some real painfulness for those folks who were buying up tech the last uh, few days. So watch that close. Then let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM had the strongest day yesterday of the indexes as oil continues to surge. Now oil sector stocks are really having a major impact on the IWM. However, we still have a lot of problems here to deal with. Notice that we are still at our downtrend and we're showing a little bit of bearishness here this morning. We did break above this price support, which I think is bullish, and we do have these little higher lows in here, which is bullish. But I think what we're seeing being developed here is this big wide ranging wedge pattern in here and I can't say as to whether it will actually push through or if this will follow the other markets lower. Keep in mind that we have a year's worth of price resistance up here to try and get through here on IWM. So I don't have a whole lot of confidence that oil um, oil rising alone is going to push us back up through that area. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX yesterday was selling off nicely, but unfortunately we kind of held on to this price support of this trend and we ended up holding right in this area a little bit of price support right in here and unfortunately that pushes us right back above that 50 day moving average so watching this closely as you can see with the selling that's coming in this morning we would expect um, fear to probably spike up a little bit today so that could be a successful hold of this trend and that 50 day moving average pushing us back up here and I've been warning about that 20 handle area for some time now if we break back above that 20 handle here and actually hold up in this area that's where we could really run into some problems in the market so watch carefully for that and I got to tell you with big tech showing some weakness here this morning 
that could really raise the fear level here in the market. Let's take a look at our T21. Oh, and by the way, this downtrend here that we have talked about many, many times, if we were to pop back above that area and hold, um, boy, watch out, it could get uh, very ugly if we were to hold the trend up into there. So, uh, boy, stay on your toes here and watch that closely. Don't become complacent in this market. This The VIX is showing us not to become complacent. So be really, really careful with racing in, buying the dip, thinking that um, it's just going to rip back to the upside. We may be losing some of the, that momentum and that energy to do that here. Let's take a look at our um, T2122. T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. It's kind of interesting yesterday. As we pushed up to those highs yesterday, we were pushing up into this area here of T2122. And then as we pushed back down, we pushed down, we were um, fading here quite a bit on that move. And then that little tiny, tiny bit of a surge right at the end of the day picked us up just slightly here um, again on the day. So what T2122 tells us is not which way the market direction is going to be, but it tells us where the pressures lie. So as you can see, if we could find some bullish inspiration this morning, then we certainly have opened up upside opportunity here if we can find that inspiration. But let's keep in mind that we also have opened up a pretty substantial downside potential here and we're seeing that kind of being activated this morning we could stretch back down here toward that oversold condition pretty quickly if that tech selling continues so watch that closely today let's take a look at our t2107 now t2107 had a pretty good response back yesterday um, but now we're in that test area the real concern area notice that we broke this downtrend well, pushed up through that downtrend right in here, popped through, we broke back above this resistance level in this chart. And we've done that before. Notice we did that over here and then failed. So what's going to be important here is if this can actually, all of those stocks below that 200 day moving average, if we can hold up here, hold a higher low, push on through to the upside, because what we don't want to see is another failure up here and uh, potentially that new low coming into uh, T2107. So watch that closely. And our T2101 really gave us um, an indication that our momentum was pretty light yesterday as we were trying to push around in here um, and, and really trying to show some bullishness, at least in the Dow. Uh, T2101 just wasn't really convincing in the momentum. Um, so we still run running this downtrend. We still have uh, this resistance level here in the chart that we broke through but failed. So a little bit of concern here. If this gets a big surge in here on the selling wave, that could be a problem for us. So watch carefully if that selling wave picks up on that market breadth. Um, let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. We do have several things to talk about here this morning on the calendar. First off, we're going to get international trade in goods. Um, that number, I don't know why. We seem to be able to just completely ignore the fact that our, um, our trade deficit is phenomenal um, but we have the ability to ignore that so kind of keep an eye on that that comes out at 8 30 we may just um, ignore that remember we also have the case shiller home price index and we have consumer confidence now confidence could be the one that shakes the market the most today um, if that were to miss on the number. Currently, con um, consensus is suggesting a slight improvement in confidence, so watch that. We also have a whole lot of Fed speak today. Um, it's not on this calendar, and I don't know why they didn't update this calendar, but today, Jerome Powell and Janet Yellen will be testifying in Congress. Jerome Powell's prepared um, notes are already out saying that he is going to be cautioning, warning that inflation is going to last longer than they expected 
and uh, may continue to push higher. So that's raising some of those concerns and it may be one of the reasons why bonds are running so hot right now. But we also have just a parade of Fed speakers uh, throughout the day as well. So kind of keep an eye on that. Let's take a look at those bonds before we move on. If we take a look at TNX, oops, TNX-X, right here, you can see we've had a substantial rise in bonds over the last three days, and they're pushing up this morning. Um, watch that carefully here. Um, this is starting to raise concerns for the market. Typically when bonds rise, market falls, and that's what's happening here this morning. So watch that closely. And if we look at our 30 year, our 30 year actually um, went above 2% earlier this morning. Um, so a little bit of concern as bonds rise in here in the market. So watch those things carefully. That could have some major impacts or ramifications um, in the market overall. So let's take a look at um, some earnings calendar events here today. Earnings calendar, we have um, about 18 companies listed on the calendar. A good number of those are, about half of them, are not confirmed reports. But if you take a look um, at the morning blog, you'll find there are some notables this morning that we'll want to pay attention to. Uh, probably the most notable is going to be MU. MU will be reporting today, Micron. So keep an eye on this today. Looks like we're pushing down here this morning in the pre-market. Now, I don't. that's not the earnings report. I think that's a function of the tech selling that's going on right now this morning. So watch that carefully. CALM will also be reporting. Keep an eye on them today. We've got FDX reporting today. It looks like FedEx is moving just a little bit lower this morning. INFO is on that list today. Very strong bullish trend here in INFO. So keep a close eye on that earnings report. THO is reporting today. Big strong move here in the pre-market. I guess they blew out earnings. Breaking that downtrend, that is a good sign. That tried and true pattern, breaking those downtrends. Now a rest or pullback that holds a higher low in here, sets up that resumption of upside trend. So watch that closely in THO and UNFI. Um, we'll be reporting this morning. Looks like it's moving sharply higher here this morning as well. Been moving up in this nice trend, breaking through some resistance in the chart. Watch these resistance levels up here as we push on through trying to move on higher. All right, guys, let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, if you could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please click that subscribe button on YouTube. Click that bell icon when it pops up so it notifies you every time I post a video. Also, make sure to click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment. You know, guys, it's, it's the engagement with the comments that makes the difference. And if you continue to engage, um, and those comments in those videos. I really appreciate that. And I want to also, you know, um, say thank you to those who helped and thank you to Google. Uh, looks like we have stopped that evildoer out there that was posting all over my channel. Um, looks like we've got that under control. So we'll have to keep an eye on it. Of course, there's always those folks out there wanting to spread hate and discontent and uh, want to do things uh, the wrong way instead of the right way. So we'll keep an eye on that. But just note that um, that looks like that has been taken care of now. Let's take a look at these stocks that could be setting up. And please keep in mind, guys, and looking at these stocks, um, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. Make sure you're doing your own due diligence. Make sure you're following um, your own risk tolerance rules and you are being very, very careful to understand um, um, the, the trade itself. Never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade. You know, a chart that was looking really good yesterday was AMD. And I had this chart marked like this. There's that downtrend break. 
we have that nice high or low starting to set up here in the chart. AMD looks pretty darn good, but then we, now we've got this darn tech sell off this morning. So we're going to want to watch this. If this has to rest a little bit more out here, then that, that's perfectly fine. Just wait for that next potential entry in here. If that can hold in AMD, may have some upside move. We did see the CEO of AMD come out and say that they think the tech the, the chip shortage will be handled by sometime next year. So watch that closely, but could be an interesting um, interesting pattern if that sets up. So watch AMD. Um, take a look at um, LUMN. Now, LUMN is a position that um, I hold, Right Way Options members are holding. So I want to uh, let you know that I have a bias here. And if you take a look at this chart, we have a pretty interesting pattern. Now, this is a communication company with a huge dividend yield, around seven and, and a quarter percent or seven and three quarter percent dividend yield. So I picked this up as a stock trade, just looking for a little bit of a safety play. And um, yesterday I sold the 15 strike calls against it. I'm up nicely in this trade. So now this morning we're looking at a little bit of resting pullback in here. I would expect that this would kind of slide out in here into its trend. So watch for that next opportunity into this chart, just like we picked up over here and um, LUMN might be something you want to put on the list. You might also want to be taking a look at PLTR. Now PLTR has been trying to move up here. You can see we pushed through this resistance level here and though we're pulling back in this morning we're getting that tech sell off and that's really affecting PLTR. It's possible we fail this trend and I'll be stopped out get out of this trade. But right now, let's keep a close eye on this. PLTR, if you guys remember, picked up $50 million in gold. Um, calling for, and by the way, PLTR is one of those predicting companies that does a lot of market work for um, big banks. They're predicting a, a black swan event. And so they picked up basically their company weight in gold. For, what I mean is their um, um, current market cap is only around $50 million and they picked up $50 million in gold. So keep an eye on this. If um, they are right, a, a dark a black swan event does occur and gold starts to pick up, PLTR might be that stock that can ride through that um, um, sell off in the market if gold picks up. So watch that closely. It might be kind of an interesting trade to keep an eye on. Um, it was also interesting yesterday. Um, I saw some um, kind of um, defensive sector stocks um, moving around yesterday. Now we ended up closing GIS down uh, General Mills. General Mills had a good earnings report, moved around in here, but notice we're starting to pick up in here, maybe a little upside trend. Again, these are dividend paying stocks. Saw KHC making some move up here. Notice we're trying to come up out of this bottom here um, in the market. Now these can also be affected by any kind of market sell off. So they may not be ready for prime time yet. But keep an eye on these. We're seeing some of that going on in the chart. I keep mentioning Lulu and Lulu continues to hold up. Looks like it's getting a little bit of pressure here this morning with the rest of, of the market. But keep an eye on that. Um, Lulu has been trying. Some of these little retailers have been doing a pretty good job um, here in the market. So there's a few uh, things to look at. And I got to tell you guys, I, I would keep a pretty close eye on energy stocks. Energy stocks just like a rocket shot here in the market. Energy pushing up. Now I wouldn't suggest that you chase them. What I would suggest is let's wait for the next resting pullback in here um, in those energy and in individual companies. Let that rest or pull back and then look for that next entry into those trades because pretty much across the board everyone is expecting fuel prices to continue to go higher into this winter so um, watch for your opportunity maybe to pick up some of those so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you um, excellent results in your trading be safe out there guys it could be kind of a rough day a lot of uncertainty 
in this market right now. It creates quite a little bit of volatility. So just be really, really careful. Watch that tech sector. If it really starts pounding down hard, that could have some major um, um, imp could have not just impacts in the technicals of the charts, but also major impacts to consumer confidence. So watch that closely, or investor confidence, I should say, and not consumer confidence, investor confidence. Everyone have an awesome day. We'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. I wish you all the best.